Hello everyone and thanks for joining again. Today I'm going to paint Willem de Kooning, who is one of my favorite abstract expressionists alongside Mark Rothko, Franz Klein, Helen Frankenthaler and many others. A long time ago, not in a faraway galaxy, I was looking at a lot of realist painters, slowly going into expressionist and cubist searching for something new, something that would catch my eye. I kept painting until I got bored of simple landscapes. One day I roughly painted some eyes and then started to paint forms with big bold strokes. A year or two later I saw a de Kooning picture called Woman 3, a big and bold action painting of an abstracted woman. He started the painting by painting some eyes and went on from there. The image is dominated by grays, long black strokes that define the edges of the figure and some yellow and white highlights. I could understand that many would criticize this approach to painting. It looks simple but it is quite hard to achieve and control the paint. The way he painted was a post-World War II conclusion. Some painters were trying to figure out what happened in these years and to change the way they paint, reducing the words to either action painting, de Kooning, Pollock, Klein, etc., or color field painting such as Rothko, Clifford Steele, Barnett Newman, and many others. They stripped the painting down. All painting canons until then were no longer used by them starting to paint on huge canvases, thinning down the paint, or putting the canvas on the floor and dripping the paint as Pollock did. These painters were interested in pure emotion. They wanted the works to stir strong feelings in their viewers. Some people weep in front of Rothko's paintings, as he intended to give people a transcendental experience through his work. The abstract expressionists met at Cedar Tavern in New York and talked about their ideas and drank a lot, gave criticism to each other and formed a great community. And drank a lot. I know I just said that. But imagine that Pollock was banned because he was kicking the bathroom door and the great writer Jack Kerouac was banned as well for urinating in the sink. A lovely bunch, these guys. But I would have loved to talk to Rothko. I know he was moody as well. Either way, it would have been nice to pick his brain a little. You can also find a lot of lectures on YouTube about their works and some clips from MoMA that I've watched more than I probably should. In time I figured that the only way to reach a conclusion and paint in an authentic way is to know and go through all of art history. It is better to be informed and have the opportunity to take away each thing you need from past artists. I still think today about the mark making of the Kooning, Rothko's blending or Frankenthaler's way of soaking the canvas. I know it is a bit odd that I'm talking about abstract painters as inspiration and my work right now is far from theirs, but I used to paint only abstracts for many years. So I will show you some examples of my earlier work. The painting I'm doing today is a conclusion of what I have been working on in the last years. I wanted to make this on an A4 paper because I think practice is very important. And painting many paintings on small paper sizes can help exercising many different subjects. Portraits, lights, nature, cars and so on. For the start of the year I want to paint a lot of small paintings between the large pieces I am working on. It also improves my speed and gives me a way to represent all the many ideas for paintings I have. Every artist goes through a lot of exploration. It is in his nature to try things. Rodko was painting surrealist paintings before his large color fields. De Kooning was painting still lifes. We experiment until we reach a turning point in our thinking and it does not stop there. There comes another time when we will rethink our approach to our work and change again or reach a point where we consider what small adjustments will do. The important thing is that our work will feel relevant and bring meaning to our lives. I am still trying to understand the direction I am going in with my art, so I am testing every idea that I find it is worth looking into. For a long period of time I have been inspired by films and taking ideas from them. I compose a lot of images in Photoshop and paint a few that really excite me a lot and I cannot wait to paint them and see them done. Let me know if you are more interested in hearing from me about art or books or any other subject. Hope you enjoyed this little painting. Thank you all for listening. Also check out my previous video where I talk about a great Japanese book by Sakaya Murata and I'm painting a beautiful dog in front of a convenience store. Have an amazing time.